un cul vert. Is a covert channel of relatively short length designed to pass water through an embankment. From a hydraulic perspective, a dominant feature of a culvert is whether the culvert run full or not. The hydraulic design of a culvert is the selection of an optimum compromise between discharge capacity, head loss, and total cost of the structure. The basic design process takes place in two stages. First, a system analysis, and then the calculation of the barrel size by a test and trial procedure. In the latter, inlet control and outlet control calculations are performed for the design discharge, and the optimum size is the smallest barrel size, allowing for inlet control operation at design discharge for the maximum acceptable flux. Inlet control means that the barrel flow conditions are controlled from upstream and are unaffected by the tailwater condition. In plain word, critical flow conditions take place in the culvert barrel. Outlet control implies that the barrel flow conditions are controlled by the tailwater condition. The upstream water level will change in response to any change of the tailwater level. The calculation of a standard box culvert size are iterative. We choose the barrel dimension, intermodal dimension, precast unit standard dimension for multi-cell structure. We assume inlet control operation. Then we assume outlet control operation and we compare the inlet control and outlet control result with the larger head loss controlling the flow condition. For box culvert, the inlet control condition may be relatively simply derived from the Bernoulli principle. For free surface inlet flow, the application of the Bernoulli principle between the upstream flood plane and barrel entrance, assuming critical flow condition in the box culvert barrel, give a relationship between the unit discharge and the upstream total head. For submerged entrance, the Bernoulli principle may be applied like for a sluice gate, linking the unit discharge to the upstream total head. The following sketches illustrate a typical operation of a multi-cell box culvert. The inlet control condition may be also estimated using a nomograph. This nomograph was slightly modified from the concrete pipe association of Australasia with permission, and the definition are shown in the previous sketches. This nomograph may be applied to single cell as well as multi-cell box culverts. For outlet control conditions, the upstream flow condition may be estimated using another nomograph. The nomograph may be applied to single cell as well as multi-cell box culvert, with the head loss being the difference between the head water total head and the tail water total head. This sketch shows a typical outlet control operation. The calculation are iterative as shown in the following flow chart. The optimal size is the smallest barrel size allowing for inlet control operation. As part of the design, an allowance for freeboard of about 20% should be considered. These calculations are basically performed assuming critical flow condition in the barrel. The hydraulic design of a standard culvert is an optimization process for the design flow conditions. Yet, the design engineers have a responsibility to ensure that the culvert operates safely for a broad range of flow condition. Damage to the embankment or to the downstream river bed or to the culvert may occur for several cases. Current engineering design practice have been developed for the reference flow condition or design flow condition. However, engineers have to check for non-design flow condition. For flow rates smaller than the design discharge, perfect performances are expected, while for discharge larger than the design discharge, some damage might be acceptable, but the stability of integrity of the embankment must be ensured. The hydraulic design of culvert is a seminal application of the basic principle of fluid mechanics and hydraulic engineering. And there are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist. Finally, the design of a culvert that is intended to be constructed 
would require the certification of a professional civil engineer.